everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Ritika and today we are diving into the world of serverless data warehousing on AWS we will explore how we can ditch the traditional and build a scalable suitable cost-effective data warehousing using the power of AWS services and this can be a good project in your resume and make your resume stand out so before we begin if you like this video don't forget to click on thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more AWS and network videos. Let's get started. But before that, we need to understand what is data warehouse. So imagine it's a central hub where all your sales figures of your marketing campaign or your employees data come together and that is data warehouse. It's like a giant library of information of optimizing for querying and analyzing. Data warehouse is a structured and organized, which makes us easy to extract values and information from the data. So what is serverless is like, are we are not using any servers? And you must be thinking where the data will go, but it's not like that. The data will be there. The servers are there, but it's like not, you are not managing the, those servers. It's on AWS. So traditionally what we do is like building a data warehouse, putting all the servers, doing patching on the servers and constantly worrying about the scalability of it. When we enter into the serverless, it's all on AWS. We don't need to think about it, how to scale it, do we need to scale it, when to scale it. We don't need to think about any of the things. It's like a genie having magic with our data warehouse. You need to simply tell what you want to achieve and it will take care of the rest. So here's why it is awesome. As no upfront investment or ongoing maintenance on any of the servers, and you need to pay only for what you use, making it a budget friendly for businesses of all sizes. It will automatically scale according to your workload. It can scale up or scale down. So you don't need to think about it, like when to scale. If we have a peak traffic, it will scale up. And when the traffic goes normal, there is no manual intervention for scaling up or down. And it will increase the agility of your data warehouse we have to forget about the lengthy setup times deploy and iterate on your data warehouse quickly and experimenting and adapting to new needs with ease so now let's meet the all-star cast of our aws services that will help us to build our serverless data warehouse so first is amazon redshift serverless our hero our fully managed data warehouse that scales automatically based on your workload think of it as a self-driving data analysis machine amazon s3 is our ultimate storage vault for your data before it gets transformed and analyzed for redshift it's like a giant secure attic where you can just dump all your data aws lake formation is your data lake architect that simplifying the creation and management of your data lake making it easy to access and analyze your data so next comes with aws glue the data prep master cleaning transforming and structuring your data for smooth analysis in redshift it's like a magical kitchen where your raw data gets tuned into delicious insights and next comes with the aws lambda the on-demand chef handling specific tasks like data validation or transformation within the data pipeline think of it as a fleet of helpful robots assisting your data journey so now let's roll up your sleeves and let's get started with building your data warehouse and here's the roadmap so first we have data ingestion we will use services like aws transfer for sftp or or amazon kinesis firehose to bring the data from various sources like web logs or crm systems into the secure embrace of s3 if you haven't checked out my how to create buckets in s3 go and check out after this video so for data transformation aws glue steps in in cleaning restructuring and preparing your data for analysis in redshift it's like giving your data a makeover before big day party and for data warehousing amazon redshift serverless welcomes your transformed data with open app loading into the tables and making it ready for querying and analysis think of it as your organized data library ready for exploring and for data analysis and visualization and finally it's time to make a sense of it all bi tools like tableau or power bi can connect to redshift letting you visualize and analyze your data in stunning dashboards and reports. It's like tuning your data into beautiful stories that inform your business decisions. So choosing serverless warehouse data 
on AWS comes with a truckload of benefits like cost effectiveness. You can say goodbye to your idle servers lying in the racks and you will just pay for what you use, making it budget friendly data heaven. And scalability of your data warehouse is effortlessly adapts to your data needs. Whether like a Tigo or a Tsunami. And security in AWS is robust. Robust security infrastructure and built-in data encryption keeps your data safe and sound. And mix and match of your AWS services and third-party tools that perfect for your needs. And forget about the months of setup. Get started quickly and less time in managing the servers and get some more time to dig into your data. So those are the benefits of your serverless data warehouse on AWS. I will put the link in the description below of the sample data deployment code. Go and check out that and build a serverless data warehouse. So let's get back to what we have done in our today's video. Building a serverless data warehouse on AWS empowers you to unlock the valuable insights from your data without complexities of traditional infrastructures. With its scalability, cost effectiveness, and flexibility to make data driven decisions and gain and gain competitive edge. So are you ready to embark your serverless data warehouse journey? Explore the resources and services offered by AWS. Take your data analysis to the next level. If you haven't checked out my previous videos on AWS, go and check out how to create EC2 instances, AWS S3 buckets and how to secure your network through AWS VPC. So if you like this video, don't forget to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit on notification bell for more AWS and networking videos. So go and check out my previous video on AWS S3. See you next video. Bye-bye.